Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Scream. Scream made her first appearance in Venom Lethal Protector issue number four in May of 1993. Her real name is Donna Diego, and she stands five feet 11 inches tall and weighs 130 pounds, having white eyes and red hair. Scream's superhuman abilities stem from her alien symbiote. Her symbiote has been shown to be able to mimic clothing and camouflage Donna. She often uses her hair as a weapon to wrap or tangle enemies, much like Medusa of the Inhumans. And much like Spider-Man and Venom, Scream has wall-crawling, web-slinging, and early warning sense abilities. She also, to a certain degree, has a level of superhuman strength, the exact limits of which are not known. Now, Scream was one of five Life Foundation symbiotes that were forcefully spawned from the original Venom symbiote. She was their unofficial Californian leader. Like the other four hosts, she was a volunteer for the Life Foundation, which was a survivalist group within the American government that was preparing for mutually assured destruction fallout of the Cold War and to provide a comfortable life for their wealthy clients after the impending nuclear holocaust. In other words, they were a group of extreme conspiracy theorists. Now, the Life Foundation was experimenting with the Venom symbiote in the hopes of creating so-called super cops to watch over their imagined fallout shelter utopia. Donna was picked from the organization's security force, made up of police, soldiers, and mercenaries. During Scream's first public appearance, she encountered Spider-Man while terrorizing a shopping mall near Salinas, California. Quickly beat by the more experienced fighter, Scream escaped in a hovercraft, which returned to the Life Foundation's base. Unknown to her, Spider-Man had hitched a ride on that same hovercraft, and once inside, he helped Eddie Brock, who was being held prisoner there. Eddie escaped and bonded with his symbiote, and Scream and the other Guardian symbiotes then tangled with Spider-Man and Venom. But Venom turned an accelerated aging device on them. The age-accelerating machine appeared to make the symbiotes age to dust. Venom and Spider-Man then escaped and the Life Foundation blew up. Later, it was revealed that Scream and the others survived and the Life Foundation was able to save them and their symbiotes. All of a sudden, for some reason, the Guardians had a falling out with their previous employers and now were fugitives on the run. Scream led the others to New York City in search of Venom, hoping that he would help teach them to control their maturing symbiotes. Venom wanted nothing to do with them and battled Scream once again. After this, Venom disappeared, and Scream attempted to enlist the help of the Scarlet Spider to help find him. When he refused, Scream experienced a psychotic break and began a rampage in Times Square. Humiliated by Venom, who ripped a piece of her symbiote off of her, and narrowly saved by the Scarlet Spider, Scream then disappeared. Undiscouraged, though, later Scream rounded up her siblings and broke the now powerless Eddie Brock out of prison, kidnapping him and imprisoning him in a Chicago warehouse. She once again asked for his help in learning to communicate with the symbiotes, and Eddie once again refused and tried to kill them all, even though he had no symbiote to back him up. Eddie escaped, and soon after, the Life Foundation symbiotes were murdered one by one. Scream led them to believe that Eddie was the killer, while in fact it had been her the entire time. She had come to the conclusion that all symbiotes are evil, and those that bonded with the symbiotes deserve to die. It was revealed that she was insane, and had been hearing voices long before she became host to her symbiote. Eddie managed to rebond with the Venom symbiote before Scream could kill him, but he could not prevent her from murdering every other symbiote's host. Venom was nevertheless able to beat her in combat yet again, and Scream was taken in by the authorities. Now, due to her powers and abilities and her influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Scream a rating of 4, which is a rating of Journeyman. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.